Joshua Robinson here with Channel 2 News. I'm excited to bring you Trick My Dish. This week we're doing one of my personal favorites, butternut squash soup. This is my friend Jennifer. We actually uh, are going to be working on this together. Jennifer, tell us a bit more about yourself. I'm uh, Jennifer D'Andrea. I have four kids, a uh, single mom. I'm a settlement consultant, legal consultant, uh, but I also have a 501c3 not-for-profit where we provide furnished housing to homeless and disabled veterans and their families. You were telling me a little bit about some of the struggles that you have with yeah. this recipe. Let's talk about, uh, what was the first thing that you said when we were talking about it? Uh, patience. I'm very <laughs> not a patient, patient person. I'm not, I'm okay. not. Trying to manage all the kids, homework, fights, trying to cook. Um, you know, I get distracted and have to go out of the room and I just kind of lose all sense of what's happening in the kitchen. Well, so that's, in, that's an important thing for this recipe. We're gonna actually start right off. It's just because you wanna get that butternut squash going first. Yeah. That's the first thing you do in this recipe. So you wanna get it sliced up, you wanna get the seeds cut out of it, and you wanna get oiled and seasoned and pop it in the oven quick. Okay. Because of the foil, yep. set it for about 40 minutes. Okay. So another part of your recipe, it calls for uh, vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. We're gonna actually use vegetable stock, a broth, is gonna be a lot weaker than a stock would be. You want this to be warm by the time you pull out the squash. Look at that. Whoo, man. A lot of chefs really like butternut squash because it has both those savory and those sweet elements. That's why it really drew me to this recipe. Anytime you're cooking with garlic, here's another thing. Here's a little tip. How to get that off, ready? Yeah, t oh, please tell me. Just cut the little edge off, right? Okay. If you do that. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And then, right, mm -hmm. just the, the brunt of it. I even got a piece of it off. Nice. There. You can remove it just like that, easy. Wait, no, I'm gonna get this, hang on. Got it. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God, look at look that. Look at that. You know how much time that is going to save? Yeah, and for someone who's not very patient. I'm not. I mean, <laughs> Okay, oh my good. gosh, it's great. So we have the shallot that you just cut up and we have the garlic that you just cut up and what are we gonna do with it in yes. your recipe? Um, medium skillet, warm one <coughs> tablespoon olive oil over medium heat until shimmering. You really don't wanna have too high of heat. Okay. You don't wanna scorch those shallots, you don't wanna scorch the garlic because that bitterness will carry over. Whenever you're cooking with garlic, as soon nice. as you start to smell it, it's done. There you go. So now's the point when we blend this all together. Mm -hmm. We got the stock ready. We have the shallot and the garlic, and we have our squash. So anytime you're making soup in a blender, you should probably put the liquid in next because you don't want to oh, cut. Okay. The, you don't want to cut the liquid off. Like if you load it up at the bottom and the liquid doesn't have a way to get down here to the grinder, mm -hmm. it's gonna just grind and you might burn out your blender. Okay. So, so we've got half, half of this squash in there right now. Everything is nice and warm. So let's go ahead and blend this guy up. And make sure the lid is on yes. because we don't want to do what my daughter did with her smoothies and <laughs> get stuff all you over the kitchen. Cover your entire kitchen. We don't need to cover your entire kitchen in squash today. No. Cleanup no. time would be much longer. Is this what it looked like before? Sort of. <laughs> That's a no. That's a no. So the same color family. Comes same out. color family. Okay, it's close enough. What about the texture? Did it look like that? No. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off real quick. It didn't come out as uh, smooth from what I see here. In your recipe, it says keep some of the stock aside for the sake of thinning it out. When you're talking about like a spring squash soup, that's totally different. That can be a little thinner, but like we talked about earlier, you want this hearty, mm -hmm. healthy, kind of full-bodied soup. Well, how, uh, how do we thicken it up? More squash. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so. The reason why I like to do it this way is because your recipe calls for more broth to thin it out. Mm -hmm. I'd rather start with the broth and thicken it up. Okay. Because you don't want it to be paste, right. but you don't want it to be rummy. Oh, wow. Wow, look, look at, at how it just sits up there like that. Texture? Much better. The final step now is getting that perfect seasoning. So when you tasted it just now, the squash is tasting pretty savory right now, yes, right? Yes. Okay. You called for uh, maple syrup mm -hmm. and nutmeg. I want to add more to that. One of the spices that I like that goes really well with butternut squash is sage. And then a couple of other spices that go really well, thyme, cinnamon, and allspice. 
So now is the big moment. It's totally done. So I'll let you go ahead and have a taste of it and see what you think. This is much better than mine. <laughs> now, I want to add a kind of fun little ingredient, kind of out of the box here. Okay. So one classic pairing that goes with butternut squash, Parmesan cheese. This is going to add a little bite to it. It's going to blend really well in with the squash. Yep. That is a really, see what I mean? a really different taste. Mm -hmm. The butternut squash soup itself is fabulous. It's better than anything I've ever made that I've been able to come up with. And that's the point is you made it. It was totally you. You did it. And we are going to update the recipe at the bottom of this YouTube video. Thank you very much. We can now officially say that butternut squash soup has been tricked. Thank you very much.